Hi, Kylie. Hi. We're here for Alonzo. You can have a seat. He'll be right with you. Thank you. Guys, get in here. Ernie, this the new guy? Yeah, that's him. Tell him there's a rule. Don't touch nothing. And that includes Kylie. Love her, boy. Gentlemen, we are 14 stories below ground in a former fallout shelter from the Cold War. The walls are reinforced concrete, and it is the perfect atmosphere for our highly secretive testing. Highly secretive, new guy. That means don't tell anyone. This is where we keep our drones. They will follow you everywhere. They might look like toys, but these are highly sensitive robots. New guy. Don't touch shit. Now look behind that glass. That is both destructive and non-destructive testing. New guy, you're next in the suit. Gentlemen, welcome to Project Codename Raiden. Our latest in all condition extreme riding gear. Now we need to test this stuff out and see how good it is. That's where you guys come in because you guys are the best of the best. Lexi, Ernie, you're the best of the best. We broke the other best of the best, so you're just like the best that was available on short notice. Listen, it's a weekend. We can't get the best of the best in here. We happen to get you. You said he's all right. This is stage one. We're testing you. You have to get through the city and get to the helicopter base as quickly as possible. This will simulate a high-speed urban rally. I will be watching you at all times, gentlemen. Guess what? I am your GPS. We are here to test your urban skills. How about you quit wasting my time, cut through the Rose Garden, and get down to the river? the naked bikers. to the train tracks. Now follow them to the helicopter base. in the barrel yard. That stuff is toxic and I do not want you damaging my bikes.
Congratulations, gentlemen. You have made it through stage one. This helicopter will take you to stage two. You're going to be in here for a while. Sit back, enjoy the amenities. This is not only a test of our gear, this is also a test of you, our riders. Now you play this right, you can become full-time test riders for the company. New guy, I might even learn your name. But I'm gonna tell you right now, it is not gonna be easy. You will be riding through every kind of terrain possible. You will be riding through mud, you will be riding through rain, you will be riding through deserts, you will be riding through snow, we'll have you riding through jungles, and we'll be watching. We have helicopters overhead. We have robot drones on the ground. We have over 1,000 GoPro cameras planted all along the course to keep an eye on you. Now, we're not heartless. There are gonna be a few tools, a few surprises, a few things that might help you along the way. But keep in mind, this is not gonna be easy and it is not gonna be safe. Our first test rider broke his leg just laying out the course, but it can work for you. You complete this fast, you complete this looking good. Oh, and you have to look good, because remember, this is Icon. You can come back to $50,000. That's almost as much as I make in a day. Gentlemen, you will be tested on your ability to negotiate various obstacles. Some of these sections will be fast, and others are going to be tight and technical, and some of them just going to require raw brute strength to make it. Follow your route carefully. If you stray from it, you could be in for a long trip. Thank you. 
waste too much time, boys. Both roads lead to Grandma's house. Made it through stage two, now head west to find stage three. Welcome to the dunes. This is the start of a 250 mile long stretch of coastal dunes. You will be tested on your ability to maintain a high rate of speed and your overall finesse across the sand. If you slow down, you will get stuck. Head to the first waypoint and you'll find something we left to help you. Make it through the sand, you need the right set of tires. I don't think we've sufficiently tested the waterproof material on your suit. How about we take a detour down the river?
made it just in time for sunset. Head north toward the mountains to test extreme mountain pass crossing. To give you every advantage, we've left something for you at the first waypoint. those mountains, you're going to go over them, all the way over them. Don't waste time up there. When the sun gets high, the snow won't be able to support your bike. Holy shit, you hit a big old deep section. <laughs> okay, time to stop messing around and get off the mountain.
Congratulations on completing stage four. Now head 400 miles southwest to the desert. For your final test, we have a special mission for you. Last year, we sent some new materials into orbit for zero-g testing. The satellite was struck by space debris and crashed in the desert. We got a bit of a mess to clean up. The material in the satellite is highly reactive, and you need to get to it before it gets too hot.
Bernie, that was a proper high side. Thanks for some new crash data. I was impressed by your ingenuity with the NOS, but you guys got so distracted, you didn't complete the mission. Now you're going to need to cool off the contents of that core before it goes into a chain reaction. Congratulations, you have completed the final stage. Now return to base for your debriefing. Welcome back, gentlemen. You made it. I said it was going to be tough, and you guys toughed it out. And here you are. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, now it's time to get paid. Where's my cash? Well, first, how about we talk about a few deductions? If you remember, I told you not to break my bikes. Ernie, quite simply, your bike looks like it got run over by a dump truck. New guy. Shut up, your bike looks like it was under Ernie's when it got run over by the dump truck. Guess what? You're gonna pay for those, gentlemen. You're also gonna pay for the cameras you destroyed. You're gonna pay for my drones that you ran over, ran through, ran up, ran down. You're gonna pay me back the money that I had to pay to Sierra Club because somehow you decided a motorcycle tire was a great way to dig a new trench through the forest. And what is that smell? Didn't I tell you those barrels were toxic? Didn't you 